that is a human service we are going to create a human service now okay see the implementation very carefully because the exercise that will be given to you will not only be not only to complete whatever we have done till now also you need to implement manage human service okay by your own so we'll be discussing on this at the end of the session so right now we will just concentrate on what or how this employee human service will be created now guys before we go and create a human service we need to understand what is a human service first so a human service by the name you can understand we can map a human service or we create a human service whenever there is a user task involved in the process because only through a human service an end user can interact with the process right now how does an end user interact with the process through a human service what is that component that is there in the human service through which an end user can interact with the process anyone can anyone answer this question user interface ui ui yes. correct absolutely correct there is the user interface now can anyone say me what do we call in ibm bpm a, a user interface what is the term that we use for an user interface in ibm bpm coach absolutely coach that is coach correct and what is a coach view anyone okay not a problem <clears throat> so coach view is nothing but the different ui components that we are using to build a coach right i'll give a few examples text box is a coach view right we are using this while building our coach what else we have we have drop down i just said drop down right a drop down is also a coach view what else we can have we can have some sections horizontal sections vertical sections buttons buttons are also coach view coach view guys are nothing but some reusable components some reusable ui components that i can use while developing my coach okay coach view also will have session so our next session will be implementing a coach view okay so we'll be seeing that on monday today we will see how to create a human service now again going back to what is a human service now we have understood what is a human service everyone is clear like a human service is the component through which we can interact with a process and what is that medium through which an end user can interact it is the user interface which we call as coach in ibm bp now human services are of two types one is the heritage human service one is the client side human service i have shared a document on this today okay so go through that document whenever uh, uh, sharvana shares that with you go through that in the weekend so we have two types of human service one is heritage and the other is client side now guys this heritage human service it is there since day 1 since day 1 just a moment just one guys give me a minute give me a moment please all right so sorry i'm back i was i was just getting some call from office okay yeah so guys heritage human service 
uh, is a human service which is there since day one. Whenever this IBM BPM started, if I have if I had to implement a human service, heritage human service was always there. Now, since version eight point five point five. client side human service was introduced now why it was introduced the reason why we need another type human service apart from a heritage human service now it it was observed even i had also worked in the heritage human service before i mean till 2016 i have worked on heritage human services then going forward i have always used the client side human service now why the heritage human service is not being used today the reason being whenever we try to implement uh, a heritage human service whenever we try to implement a coach for a heritage human service whenever we were designing the coach we used to find out that the responsiveness was not there okay and what do i mean by responsiveness of a ui can anyone say what do i mean by uh, the responsiveness of a ui easy is it the view sir desktop view the mobile view not working properly no it used to take time uh, to retrieve the data to scan hmm. not working everybody, properly everybody is very close so your answers are not incorrect but yes everybody is very close i will tell the exact reason so responsiveness here guys means that whenever you open a ui to any device be it a tab be it your mobile phone be it a desktop be it a laptop so all these devices have different resolutions right our phone resolution is different from the resolution of the laptop that we are using right now like the tab resolution is different from the laptop resolution right so every resolution will change with every device now whenever we used we used to find out that whenever we should uh, design a coach using a heritage human service it used to open in the laptop properly in the desktop properly nothing used to break but whenever the same view the same coach through some iphone or through some mobile we used to see that the page is breaking what do i mean by page is breaking say we have two text boxes okay side by side and suddenly when you open it Through uh, uh, through your mobile phone, uh, the text box appears on the top of another text box, right? So that is incorrect. So the resolution is breaking basically. So to avoid this thing, client side human service was introduced. And there is one more major difference that is a heritage human service. We can create it. Yes, today we can create it also in the web designer. But initially, when client side human service was introduced, uh, rather when there was no web designer, that time we used to create the heritage human service through what process designer through the desktop process designer, right? And now, when we create the client side human service, we cannot create a client side human service through a desktop designer. We can create it only through a web process designer. Okay. there are other differences also like for example uh, whenever you are designing a client human service coach the look and feel without running the client side human service you can see the look and feel directly over there the reason being we are designing this coach of the client side human service in the browser so that becomes easier for us to see the look and feel even without running the human service which is not the case in case of heritage human service guys okay if for a heritage human service whatever you are doing the design if you have to see how the coach is looking you have to run that you have to run the human service and then only you will be able to see it okay these are the different uh, differences that we have between a heritage human service and a client side human service i have provided a document today uh, where it says heritage human service versus client side human service all the differences are listed go through those points in the weekend and if you have any queries come back on monday with questions all right now we have understood what is a heritage human service what is a client side human service now the question is in today okay whatever applications are running throughout uh, across the globe okay in ibm bpm 
what is that human service which we use often we use client side human service the reason being 10 years back the customers they used to they wanted to access the application only through their laptops and desktops right but now the things have changed now what we see that they also want to uh, access the coach or access the ui also from their mobile phones okay while traveling maybe they are going to office uh, or maybe they are going somewhere while traveling they want to access the application from their own device like mobile phones or tablets and again android devices there iphone is there so for implementing such kind of coach where uh, we have to add the responsiveness and robustness we always need to use a client side human service okay so we will start implementing the client side human service now and if you guys want to have a session separately on the heritage human service because we are not going to cover heritage human service in our sessions still you guys if you want to cover if you want to see how a heritage human service can be created and how we can implement that in the process you can let me know maybe in the later part of the session we will see that implementation okay so now the time is to create a client side human service so how we can create a client side human service very simple we have to go on the left hand side palette you see there is an uh, there is a component called user interface next to it you have a sign you can click on that plus sign and the first option says client side human service see we also have heritage human service over here which can also be created from the web browser okay but the limitation is if you are using a desktop designer you will not be able to create a client side human service from there that is a limitation of a desktop designer now either you can create it from here client side human service from here itself or we can also create a client side service through the activity wizard of a process okay what is the activity wizard so whenever you are creating a client side human service we need to map it over here in the employee task where we need to map it there is a property of a user task called implementation property you see yesterday we discussed whenever you click on any component in ibm bpm the properties of that component are visible below right so i have selected the employee task which is basically a user task and you see the properties are visible below here so one of the properties implementation property okay and here in the implementation property if you see there is something called implementation right and just next to this implementation there is a dummy human service which i can see that is mapped from before okay so we have to create our own human service with our own implementation whatever we want to implement and that we need to map it over here by clicking on select okay so right now we have not created anything that's the reason we don't see the employee human service over here so if i create it from here and then after creating the human service then i can map it directly over here okay that is one way what is the other way instead of creating the human service from here i can also create using this new button okay so next to select there is a new button in this implementation property i can click on new and i can use the activity wizard of this process to create a human service okay so it is asking me to provide a name i have give a meaningful name employee cshs so cshs stands for client side human service you can provide any name you want uh, i have provided cshs doesn't mean that we have to use this only we can provide any name but again the naming convention okay best practices the name should always start with an upper case you see i have started with an upper case letter if the name is big then there has to be a space in between unlike a business object 